Can I see what you're handing people there? For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. So the minute I got to the other side of the property line, and now I'm, uh, now that I'm outside of it, they started doing this at the property line. So the apartment complex that I was asking about earlier has just closed off one of its entrances. I, I was asking Bedford PD, I guess it was, if they were going to intrude onto this, the property of this nearby apartment complex. The real question should probably be, is any law enforcement going to intrude in there? I know I wouldn't want law enforcement coming onto uh, an apartment complex that I, that I lived in, uh, generally speaking. Off to the right there is the entrance to the property I was just kicked out of. But imagine how uh, neat it would be if you could say that you were kicked out of a Slobodan Milosevic rally in 1988 or a Hitler rally in 1932. Today's Ridley booting has me wondering, what do I have to do to kick, get kicked out of a Hillary Clinton grounds? Oh man, that guy, what is that? It's got paper. Watch out for that guy. He's carrying paper. Ooh. It's always something to be afraid of, actually, when the government has it. So this guy is asking for permissions and or restrictions, trying to get a sense of where he's allowed to go and not, rela not allowed to go. It's easier to uh, beg forgiveness. So now the police activity stretches from way down there at the building all the way over here and all the way out there at least about a quarter of a mile from where Trump will be as the car drives and as this cordon or whatever you want to call it continues to expand I will probably gradually get pushed back and just document each step of the way make them use their power as many times as possible without violating the law myself. That almost looks like a motorcade of its own. How many how many shiny SUVs can the government afford? <laughs> this might not even be government people, I don't know. One kind of interesting thing too, uh, by kicking me off the property, I had planned on getting a shot of the, the line once it became, you know, big. And I wanted to see just how many, how, how diverse the line looked ethnically, because I believe the line would have looked at least as diverse as New Hampshire is. And I'm not sure, it's a theory, but I wasn't able to show that to the public because they kicked me out. So I figured out what the cops are doing with the, that all that paper. They are handing it to motorists, which this guy is doing too. Of course, the question when a cop wants to hand you a piece of literature is, am I required to take this literature? What are the consequences if I don't take it again? So the other kind of neat thing about backhanded compliment fest is that by approaching me so many times, four hours before Trump even speaks. They're, they're handing me all this great video that I, I mean, I, I, I just, I knew I would be able to come here and stay here for eight or nine hours and just milk the place the entire time for more videos that, that people will actually watch. I'm not sure I've ever been able to do that before. So what's happening now is there's uh, an early backup of traffic that's starting to happen on Technology Road, which I guess does go about another half a mile in that direction. Blocked off, or you know, the sides are blocked off another half a mile in that direction, but the, the thing is that they seem to be doing something to try and keep people from going in, and they're stopping, and are, maybe they're slowing them down. I don't know what it is, but this is not, this is not private property here, and this is not a, uh, an unimportant road. People are going and coming from something here. This guy is already bringing concerns to the police about the backup in traffic. But again, we are four hours away from Trump's speech. 
Send them down. You gotta get this traffic call. Okay, uh, basically, we're gonna have to turn around. Okay, we're gonna have to turn around. We're So I'm taking something of a risk now and moving toward the, uh, well, just further away from the event itself to see what's going on in the further periphery. I might not be let back in, but I was getting really bored with everything I was seeing where I was there. So a politician or a government official, I think that's a government official license plate, is being allowed to park on the side of the road or is this uh, a law enforcer? And to what extent is this person getting special treatment? And for what reason? I don't know, maybe I'll find out later. A quarter of a mile away now from the event, police presence is pushing further and further out. So, credit where credit is due. This was the spot where you saw traffic backing up a minute ago. Now it's clear. The police have got it clear and moving normally. Can I see what you're handing people there? Just the Oh, okay. All right. All right. Good, good. This has their just direction to the airport, and they do appear to be exactly that. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.